Welcome back to another Mukbang Monday. It's your favorite dynamic duo, B Mars. And Shanti. And we're eating something extra special today, which, which is El Pollo Loco. We don't have it yet because we're in the car. Yeah, this is another car bang. You guys always ask us to do car bangs. You love the car bangs. Well, which, I, we should do them more. We should I give know. them what they want. I know. It's surprising because we always think that you want to see like the food spread out, which yeah. you can't really do in the car, but... I don't know. Let us know in the comments below why you love the car bang because I'm just very curious. I think it's just like exciting. Like we can take them with us. They hear us order and they hear us stumble and stutter. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I'm I'm already stressed. And our Taco Bell one, that was like the most stress. Watching it back like gave me like secondhand anxiety. I know. I'm like, <laughs> sorry for you guys. <laughs> we'll do that again because but, it's like. Oh my God. Today I wrote down a list because <laughs> we're using my phone to film. So um, yeah, I have a speech written out of what I'm gonna say. I am currently looking up what I'm gonna get on the way there. <laughs> this is um my first time at El Pollo Loco. Same. And Chantal's. So it's very exciting. It's a chain all over California. Should we drive and talk? Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know, safety first, but um basically yeah it's it's a chain all over California. I don't know if it's anywhere else. I'm sure it if it is you guys will let us There's know. There's like a thousand near us. Yeah maybe it's like a west coast thing but I am just such a Taco Bell queen that I kind of feel like I'm cheating on my lover right now. You always say that like you never want to get anything besides Chipotle and Taco Bell. Yeah because it's just like they've always been so good to me. Do you like um what is the one that was in uh Pittsburgh by Chipotle? Oh, no. I know what you're talking about. Moe's? Moe's. Mm -mm. I like Moe's. Moe's is mm -mm. <laughs> You heard it here first, kids. Moe's is fucking bullshit. <laughs> no, I just, I don't think that their, like, burritos and everything was as good. All they had was the queso, and the queso wasn't even that great. <laughs> but I will say Chipotle recently added queso, and but so bad. I, yeah, that's what people say. Well, <laughs> let me tell you guys, Pollo Loco, even with chicken in the name, supposedly you can make vir virtually anything vegan because the beans and rice are vegan. And also, you can sub chicken for av avocado for chicken at no additional cost, which is that's amazing, crazy, yeah. Because avocados are usually always more. What about a Taco Bell? I think can they charge you for avocado. They yeah, don't charge for you for guac. beans and meat. Switching. Sorry, sir. Right? Uh, oh, this guy wants to come over. Sorry. I'm just blocking. Let's just ignore him. I'm gonna pretend <laughs> to <do> something. <laughs> Alright, guys, we'll see you when we're at the drive thru. Alright, guys, we're pulling up right now. I'm already nervous. Really? Where is it? Right up there. Oh, I didn't see it. This is a huge one. My hair looks wet. It's because we just went to the gym. Okay. But it looks like I have helmet head. <laughs> helmet hair. <laughs> it looks like you're going like really fast, you know, and like the wind's <laughs> blowing your hair back. You're like, whoa! I can't decide which two burritos I'm gonna get, so I'm just gonna say something when I get up there. This guy, are you in my way? Can I fit in here? Uh, there's just a giant armored truck. Moment of truth. I'm not ready. I need my paper. I need my speech. <laughs> here. It's gonna be okay. It's not okay. Where's the talker? Is it up there? I don't know. Oh yeah, this is just the first menu. They oh. psyched us out. Oh, I, I feel really Wow, like really good. Videos? It's yeah. funny because the pictures make it look really healthy. Yeah. But it's fast food, so I'm like, is it? I know. Okay. Like, I wonder what the quality is going to be I like. I want to find out what drink I want. Huh? What is it? I don't know. What? <laughs> Would you like to try a new double chicken fireball? Uh, no, thank you. No, thanks. He's like, don't leave. <laughs> Can I please have the pollo bowl? Um, but. Can, instead of chicken, can I get avocado? Pollo bowl, no chicken, with avocado. And can I also have a family size chips and guac? Uh, okay. Um, and I have a big order, so sorry about, about it. <laughs> um, can I please have two classic crunchy tacos? Where are all the salsas? With, um, instead of chicken, can I have avocado again? Uh, we can't do that for the crunchy. The crunchy already has the chicken side. Oh, okay. Can you do beans instead of chicken, or? No. Okay, that's okay. I just won't get any tacos. Um, and can I sub chicken for avocado in the chicken fajita burrito? Chicken fajita, no chicken, with avocado chicken, thing, right? Yes, please. And no cheese or sour cream in that as well. Do you have unsweetened iced tea? Yes. 
I'll have a, I'll have that. Uh, yes. Can I do one Chipotle chicken avocado burrito? And also a, um, individual chips and queso. An individual chips and queso. And also an avocado quesadilla. Um, also, can I do, where's the, a uh, Dr. Pepper? Large. Oh yeah. I think, yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. He probably thinks we're feeding a family of 12. Just two. Two little gals. Just a family of two. Oh, I'm bummed that they didn't have tacos. I really wanted a crunchy taco. I know. I wanted to get... Hi. Um, How much is it? I think... I don't know what he said. Well, how much was it? $34. 34 A lot of things happening in your drink order spots. So, PETA told me that I could get all those things. Um, PETA... So, I was on the phone with PETA this morning. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they instructed me. Um, so, if they're not vegan, it's their fault. Because yeah. you know people are like, that's, that's not, not vegan. vegan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh... Okay. If it's not vegan, we're going to have to take it up with PETA. Yeah. That's so funny Thank to me you. when people say that. Like, yes, PETA's going to mess up. They're, like, the biggest organization. I, mean, I guess some people, like, might not think something's vegan if it's shared with other things, you know? Like, if it... You have something in your hair. Oh, it's like a flower. Oh, my God, that's huge. Here you go. Thank you. I'm a thirsty gal. Did you get the flower out? I was saving no. it just for you. Oh, that's cute. Like little monkeys. <laughs> that wasn't nearly as stressful as the Taco Bell one. No. Well, we were prepared. That line moved real fast at Taco Bell. Yeah. Thank you. How's it? So refreshing, even though it's literally not hydrating me at all. Isn't that so messed up? <gasps> you love black tea. I do. I love unsweetened iced tea. Is that what you got? Mm. Unsweetened? Mm -hmm. What brand is it? I don't know. Mm. I think uh, I, unsweetened iced tea is so thirst quenching. I love it. Mm. I should make it at home. I like. I always had it growing up as a kid, but really, I never had it. I just forget. My family's not tea drinkers, really. My I mean, dad was actually the the best dad in the world. He would make a pitcher of Kool Aid, a pitcher of unsweetened iced tea, and a pitcher of lemonade. Because my mom liked lemonade, my brother liked Kool Aid, and me and him liked unsweetened iced tea. That's so cute. My dad would do things like that all the time. Like what a nice dad. <laughs> like dads are so cute i know the little things my dad i'd be like dad can i have some water and he'd be like okay he'd come and bring me water oh my parents would not do that i know if <laughs> is this everything yeah thank wow. you so much mm -hmm. anyway, i don't even want to check i just i'm just gonna trust you know we trust you <laughs> wow, all right this is heavy this is like this the, the weight That's of a like newborn a, baby a child <laughs> Um, the lighting looks pretty good if we just... Straight ahead? Yeah, or we can pull in that one or... Should I shut the car off? Is this too loud? Maybe do, like, just the battery for a little bit? It's just hard because it gets so hot in the car. Yeah. I don't know how people do these car bangs. They probably just keep their car on. Look at our little thing of salsas. Oh, fun. Yeah, they have, like, a salsa bar inside, I read. Mm. That you can, like, get your own salsas from. Let's go in one day. Okay. I'm so excited. These are chips. Yes! So my children had a babysit, but I these are the mini chips. Just as individual. Yeah. This is for a family. This isn't very big. This is queso. This is guac. Oh, I was gonna eat one before you. I guess I'll. Eat. My kids had a babysit. Out. Get this all the time. Oh, probably look. Oh, here's another yeah. individual chip. To be a two. I think that like they come with chips. Some things do. Like the oh. bowl comes with chips. You know. Wow. Uh, Boom. Excuse me. What's that? Spicy chipotle. Ooh. I'm gonna pour these you chips in here. Oh, you got fajita, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a special, because I'm special. Because you're special. They made it special for me. Oh, it's so rojo. What is this? Oh, my, oh my god, this is hot. Be careful. Maybe really? you want to put that on the seat at the bottom. I'm gonna put it up here. Oh, my quesadilla. This is so exciting. I can see why people like this. Oh my it's god. like so much fun. And like there's Christmas. more salsa. I'm so excited. We have so much food. I don't know if I want to eat my burrito first or my my quesadilla. It looks like a crunch wrap. It but looks I just like a crunch wrap. Shouldn't say that because that's rude. <laughs> oh my god. I we, love Taco Bell. We should do another Taco Bell bang. I know we should. But I'm, I'm just gonna dump these chips out in here, like the plastic bag. 
feel like that's safer. Uh, it's Ooh, already getting a thousand hot. degrees in here. I know. I feel like we're just Ooh, gonna chunk. We're gonna have to record with the car on and then just speak loudly. Yeah. We'll do it. This she one. is. She is on the chip. Mmm. Oh god. Oh really good. How guac? Oh no. I gotta taste it again. Uh, it's good. It um it's real chunky. It's not like smooth. I feel like this is the cilantro salsa. The rojo. Ro rojo. And pico de gallo. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I'm dying. Can you turn the car on? Yeah. Sorry guys, it's loud. We'll just speak up. Okay, I'm gonna try this. It's right because I'm so used to the Taco Bell sauce packets, so I'm gonna have to like dump salsa. He's on. Oh yeah, I was wondering how that was gonna happen. Can I try this? Yeah, go ahead. Oh god. Oh my god. It's so good. So good. Can I see the inside? Wow. There's some more of it so you can see better. Now you can't really compare it to uh Taco Bell. No. It's gotta be your own. It's own thing. But it is, it is it's good own thing. Which is good to know because they're everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere around here. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna go for my fajita burrito. Ooh, I like how it's like toasty on the outside. Okay, we try to find some more shade, but it's really not working for us, so. There's no trees around here. But we're starving and we're just gonna oh, continue. It's hard because I'll show it from back here, because here it's like in the sun. Yeah. Um, mm. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll turn on the air like coming through the vent. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is the fajita burrito. Mmm. Looks good. I'm gonna put some salsa on this. Oh! Is mm -hmm. it good? So good. Holy crap. Mmm. I love the toasted shell. Can I have some of that? Mm -hmm. There's like 300 of them. But let's just use this one open because I don't want to have a million up here. Yeah. This is so good. I'm gonna try the cilantro one too. I wish I could show you guys closer. This one's really watery. Oh my god. Mmm. That one's good too, but it's not as flavorful. Yeah. Mmm. I just took the biggest bite. I just feel like I was starving. And now I'm yeah. so happy. We ate uh, a couple donut holes for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Went to the gym. Wow, this yeah. is going real ravenous. Um, well, we don't really have a topic today. But we were looking through uh, the new music that came out because the there's been so much. Yeah, like we were looking at the new Kanye album, and Kanye <coughs> just really. Uh, annoys me so i haven't listened to it yet yeah he's kind of the, we listened to like one song and it was the most nah. but i was telling chantal and then we realized we should just talk about this on the bang is that there's been so much new music out right now like the whole trending page on youtube is music gorillas just put out a song i don't even know gorillas still like existed as yeah band. i don't think maybe they like had a reunion mm. yeah oh my god this is so bad when was the last song like, that's had to be like eight years ago what was it? I don't know. The only one I can think of is like, I got sunshine in a bed. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was like when I was in middle school, I feel like. I like their new song. Did you listen to it? Yeah. It was good. It was very like happy. You want to like be at the beach, which is like where it was recorded. And then Maroon 5 just put out a new song, which sounds very Maroon 5 -y. Maroon 5 -y. I'm sorry to say this, but I've never been a fan of Maroon 5. I feel like I'm the only person because everybody's obsessed with Adam Levine. Um, I'm not obsessed with Adam Levine. He's not my guy. Um, I, I appreciate him. I think he's very hot. He is very attractive. You know what's funny? I feel like he just comes off like a douche. He is. No offense. Oh my god. So I do this little, little thing, or I did when I first moved here, where you sit in the audience and you get paid 100 bucks to take Eight. up space it's called like crowd casting yeah crowd work and i've done the voice multiple times and 
he's just kind of weird. One time I caught a conversation. This is some tea. Mm. <laughs> he was like talking. He like sometimes will like talk to the audience when they get like bored because they're sitting up there for like literally like. There's no nap. Sixteen hours a day. Oh really? So you have some on your dashboard if you need some. Thanks. Um, and he was talking about how girls should never poop or fart or talk about poop in front of their like husbands or men and it like totally ruins the relationship and, like girls can't poop like if my wife wants to poop or maybe he didn't say this particular but he was like the girl should like go to another like bathroom to poop like she shouldn't poop around me or like talk about poop like poop is disgusting over ruin a relationship what and i was just like grow up dude like what are you like a 16 year old yeah and like are you not allowed to poop in your own house yeah and girls like the comfort of your home girls can't poop i think he said something that like his wife like goes they have like a guest house and like she'll she'll poop in the guest house and like not inside the real house so yeah is that bad that i'm talking telling people that <laughs> but, no i mean he said it to an audience of people yeah true but yeah i just thought that was crazy i was like that's the most childish thing i've ever heard in my very life very childish and like i hate when people say like girls don't poop like that's that we're f-ing humans yeah i hate when people try to act like yeah like we can't be not pretty or fart or poop and like what that's that like actually makes me so angry same it really rubbed me the wrong way after that i was like all right i'm not a fan of you anymore i've served this him. is really good oh really yeah the bowl it has so many beans in it i've served adam levine um now my job because they have the voice rap party at the club that i work at mm-hmm. every year so for the past four years i've worked it britney has seen some or worked with so many celebrities just because my job is like we do a lot of special events for like HBO and CBS and Fox and yeah. whatever. People always ask me that. They're like, "Yo, you been like, who have you seen for celebrities?" But and Adam Levine and his wife, they're like jumping over. Like, it's hard to describe. So we have like booths, and then they like go downstairs, and they were like jumping over like the back of booths, and like you just use the stairs. Like our furniture already looks like shit. You don't have to climb all over it. I don't know. Why were they climbing over it? Because they were too lazy. He was actually like kids, you know? Mm-hmm. But I think he's like kind of a kid. He's very sexy. But he's good looking. And I actually went to um when I worked the Final Four in um San Antonio, Texas, he played the music fest that was connected to it's called like Fan Fest. And he played the closing and like they were playing it and I was like, damn, Maroon Five has had some bangers. Like yeah. they've been around forever and that's really hard to do as mm-hmm. like an artist to like stay relevant for it has to be like 10 years now right like i remember listening to him when i was like a sixth grader in hawaii like the first one that's like <laughs> the song's like <laughs> the song like that <laughs> <laughs> the song is like tap on my window knock on yes. my door i want to make you feel beautiful see i like that song maybe i just don't like adam levine's <laughs> voice i don't know what it is I, there's something about maroon 5 i just i don't like but i've heard is covers it since you've met him or like always no always like mm. i've never really See, I did Maroon 5. I don't mind spending every Oh my god, like, I remember... It's just so monotone. I remember being like a six-year-old, like... Like, next to my window. I'm burning the burning rain. So, like, singing it and being like... Yeah. Like, I loved well, all their shit. What was I've the other... Covers of it and I like, but I, I just don't like when they sing it. What is the other song that was, like, really old that was popular by my hand? I don't remember. I loved it so much. I, I like the new song that's like... Wait, will you turn around? Will you turn around? Yes, wait. I guess I like that one. Probably is my favorite Maroon 5 song, but that one's like out right now. I wish I could remember. I literally hate when I can't remember. Like, there's one Maroon 5 song. Old. Like, around the same, like, She Will Be Loved. Mm-hmm. That I used to sing literally every day when I lived in Hawaii. So I had to be in, like, 7th grade, 6th, 7th grade. Um... Their, their new song is called Girls Like You By the way If you guys are wondering What we're talking about mm. um, You guys This is so good I can't get over it I'm just over here shoveling uh, uh, I haven't even tried my other one I'm so glad we did this Because now I know Like If I'm in a pinch Like they got good options I know And I wouldn't go to say That this is healthy But like it's It tastes It fresh. feels like quality ingredients Yeah Oops Max is trying to FaceTime me right now Oop, I'll call you back I don't mind spending every day. Do you have any more tea on other uh, celebrities that you can share? Um, Kendall Jenner, have you ever talked about her? No, but I did meet her. 
This one, Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I guess that's a classic. I love that song. Yeah. Jesus. Sorry, I had to figure that out before I could keep speaking. <laughs> Literally freaked out. There. Must figure it out. No, I cannot speak until I know the name of that song. Pharrell. Have we really talked about this? I don't think so. Pharrell, I met at the voice rap party too, and he was a douche. Why was he a douche? He just like doesn't acknowledge your existence if you're like beneath him. Like, he's, like, in my section. I'm, like, do you want a drink or whatever? And he's just, like, do other people have to order for him? I guess. I just stopped going there. And I was, like, all right. I'm out. You're not getting from me. Like, yeah. I don't care. It's it's bad because I've been working at the place I work for so long that, I like, I'm just, like, not afraid to be fired. <laughs> <laughs> the only room. Yeah. Like, I can get away with stuff that I shouldn't. Um, Quinn Stefani. Literally an angel. Sweetheart from the heavens. Um, you know who else is really nice? American Horror Story. Um, the main lady. Not the really old one, the like medium aged one with brown mm-hmm. hair. What's her name? Sarah Paulson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's a goddamn sweetheart. Really? She, she was so nice. She seems like, like a mom. Like you know who was kind of an asshole? Who? Um, do you remember watching um, Bring It On? Yes. Like that old movie? The guy from Bring It On. Like you know where they're like brushing their teeth in the bathroom yeah he like was acting super pretentious and i was like you've been in one movie <laughs> that i know Chill of the f- out. you guys i'm not the biggest fan of avocado like i like it a little bit but i don't i want don't ever like biting into like a chunk of it is that weird i feel like most people like are obsessed with avocado mm. i like avocado like but- when i make avocado toast i do like the thinnest skinniest layer hmm well i don't like biting into a big chunk of it like that but i like it when it's like spread yeah same um, I wish I got one more thing, honestly. Because I already tasted by two things. I should go back in line. No. Yeah. Do another round. I need to eat my burrito, but I'm trying to finish this. Wait, did you ever talk about Kendall Jenner? No. Oh my god, you. I think you might have, but uh, I have a really funny story about Justin Bieber. I think I might have told it a long time ago. What is it? Um. So. I remember the story, but you should tell them. I think I might have told you, but since we're on the topic, I'm just going to tell it again. Um, I was at a day party. It was like a Sunday day party. Um, right in Hollywood. And uh, it was right off Cahuenga Boulevard, if you guys are familiar. It's like a really busy area, street. And um, Justin Bieber and his like whole posse, whole crew, came into the club that I was at. And everybody was like freaking out, just like staring at him. Like, trying to, like, get a picture of him. Right, Bob. Try, like, everybody was just, like, standing around him. Like, you know, at, like, a dance circle when, like, everybody's just, like, in a circle. That's, like, what it was like but around Justin Bieber. And everyone, oh, my God, that's so funny. Is, is his security guards, like, keeping him back? They were all just, like, chilling. Like, I think he was just trying to, like, live his life. He just wanted to party. Yeah, but then the funny part is that all of a sudden, his whole entourage is, like, with him. They, they like, walked out of these, like, are you going to try your burrito? No, you can keep talking. Oh, okay. Um, uh, they all, like, pulled out of these, like, four black SUVs. How is it? It's good. My burrito's so good, too. Oh, there we go. Look at her. Mm. Um, it's good, but I just ate that whole quesadilla. It's kind of similar, though. It's, like, a different shape. Similar flavors? Mm-hmm. Anyway, so he comes to... Yeah. Um, all of a sudden, he just, like, stands up. I don't know if he was, like, f***ed up on some whatever. He just, like, gets up and just exits the club all by himself, just, like, on a mission, like, walking so fast, just, like, literally books it out of there. And then <laughs> me and my friend were, like, about to leave anyway, so we, like, left. And we were just kind of, like, watching him, like, walk down the street. And he was just booking it down Cahuenga Boulevard all by himself, like, walking, like, so fast. And, like, nobody, like, no bodyguard, no one with him, no friends, like, just by himself, Justin Bieber booking it down going a little it was so strange that is really weird i'm yeah. dying of heat yeah all right hold on one second Let's switch it forward uh, i feel like my face gets red so easily uh, dying so that's my justin bieber story and what a weirdo yeah and then it's really oh sh- we spilled salsa that's gonna suck oh Tip sh- down there this is actually really spicy the spicy chicken really Usually people like say it's spicy and it's not, but this one's good. It got a little kick. Yeah. I gotta take out these chunks of avocados. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. 
the friend that I was with, she um, she was like looking for an after party to go to, that's why we left. And she was like, oh yeah, like last night I was at Drake's house. She's like, oh maybe Bieber will have an after party. Like, I've been to his house before. And I was like, girl, how do you get invited to all these parties? I wish I hung out with her more still. The only person in this house I've been to is Post Malone. He's a weirdo. Not really? in a bad way, he's just weird. I actually think he's just like super high. Oh, wait, we have to talk louder. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can um, you guys hear us? You want to hear a crazy story about um, one of my first celebrity encounters that I almost slept with him? Who? I haven't actually told this to anybody except like the people that I work with. Was it Scar? <laughs> no. Um, so if you guys are aware, which I just switched my ships, of Michael B. Jordan, he's now super famous because he yeah. was like the bad guy in black panther and he did creed but this is before all that this is like four years ago so he was like known for friday night lights which i never had watched but i recognized him and he is beautiful so beautiful like so attractive and there was this event happening at my job and i'm working it and he's like really good friends with the co-host of um ridiculousness so not like the girl the, no the guy mm -hmm. the, um his name. I don't know. He's like a black guy who sits on the computer and then there's the white girl and then there's the guy who hosts it who's a skateboarder. I don't know. I can't remember I anybody's it. names. I yeah. Chanel West Coast? I, that's the girl. But not her, the guy. So they're hanging out at this event. And the other guy is hitting on my friend and Michael B. Jordan is hitting on me and he's like just so attractive and I was newly single, like this is like four years ago and I broke up with that really serious boyfriend and all the stuff. And I was like, oh my God. He, and he was like, I'm throwing an after party at my house. To you? Uh-huh, come. And I have his number still to this day. Oh my God, we should text him. Mm -hmm. him up. No. <laughs> um, yeah, and I was like, okay, perfect. So, but I, w I didn't get off work till 2 a.m. And nothing good happens after midnight, kids. Really? Even at an after party? Well, this is the thing. I went to the house. It was in, um, you know, the hills. It's like obviously a mansion and there's not a party it's like a normal oh, so house you pulled up i pulled up with my friend so it was going to be me and my friend thinking we we're going to this big party and it was definitely just to bang like Ooh. like you could tell it was like the two guys just trying to like bang. hit it and quit it or whatever like yeah. it was not a party and me and her like looked at each other and we're like it's not worth it i don't need to to bang a celebrity like yeah i'm not that type of girl and like i would want it to party and like have a memory with it but i didn't want it just like Bang him. Bang him and leave. I don't know. It just felt weird. So we left. And then they're like, where are you? Where are you? And we were just like, never responded. Oof. That's awkward. Oh. But it made me feel really good about myself because Michael B. Jordan is so beautiful and he wanted to bang me. Mm-hmm. But then again, he might just be a huge player and wants to bang anything that walks. But I'm not going to let myself think that. <laughs> That's so funny. I just watched him, um, like, interviews with the Met. I, like, watched all the Elijah Koshy ones and I just watched an interview with him. He's so beautiful. Yeah, these big little. avocado chunks are too, a little too much. I agree. I'm going to say, that's, that's a no for me, dog. <laughs> um, anyway, you know who else came out with new music? Who? Oh. Speaking of someone with a bad reputation, John Mayer. Oh, yeah. I don't really like him that much either. Oh, I love John Mayer. Yeah, but everybody does. I heard he's a huge player from, like, the music industry. Like, I don't know. But no, I forgot. Did you um, see his new music video? No. It's actually really funny. If you guys haven't, I'm going to look up his Twitter because he's like, kind of prefaces it. Um, and you all should watch it. It's, it's really good for a good laugh. Yeah, like John Mayer. Jo Jackson? J is it John Jackson? No. John Jackson. Jackson 5? No. What is it called? There's no combination of words I could put in a bus of a post. Oh. <laughs> it's like all like contemporary dancers. Um, um, um. Jackson. J, J, no. No. Banana pancakes. Making banana pancakes. Who the hell is that? that? That's John Mayer. Uh uh. Uh uh. Is, wait, 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 is it John Mayer? I think that one's John Mayer, but the other one you were singing. God damn it. I looked up banana pancakes and banana pancakes recipe came up. Jack Johnson! Jack Johnson, yeah. I fucking love Jack Johnson. <laughs> I don't know oh what it God. is. John Not Mayer, Jack Johnson. I'm just, I'm like so bored. I'm like yawning. Oh, I would like <laughs> dance to them. Not Bubbly Toes. Uh, uh, and maybe because Colin like plays them literally all the time. He has like a Spotify playlist with the same like 20 songs. 
he mm. like rotates playlists, but like he'll play them all the fucking time, and I'm like, I can't listen to this anymore. Oh, um, okay. So, John Mayer. Back to the bowl. Wait, did you finish your quesadilla? Yeah, I crushed it. <laughs> what else did you get? Oh, just the chips? And this burrito. Mm. But I'm like getting full, that's a lot of food. Me who? Wait, I really want to find this fucking tweet. This bowl is perfect to save though, because it comes with like a little lid. You could just stick in the fridge. Okay, here it is. So John Mayer tweets, I needed to make a video for New Light, which is a song title, but nobody could agree on a budget. Music industry, am I right? So I went to this place downtown and made, I made this with a company that usually does birthdays and bat mitzvahs. And it's so funny. The whole thing is like... I wanted to demonetize. Why would you demonetize? Oh, because it's a song. Okay, whatever. Yeah. But it's like funny picture. Like, it just looks like a cheesy like birthday video. Like... He's like singing on the guitar, and then like another one of him pops up, and, he, and then his other him is like, like, I don't know. It was like it's really funny. And that's cute. funny of him. Yeah. I was like, oh, John Mayer, you make me like you more. Oh, John but Mary, that's probably why you were playing. Yeah, uh. that charisma, mm -hmm. that low key humor. I'm dying. I know, I'm dying too. Should we be done? I can't eat anymore. What oh. are you eating? <laughs> you want to talk about anything else? New music and celebrity gossip. That was fun. Um, I'm literally so hot. I'm so hot. I can't be here anymore. I don't know how you guys do these car mukbangs. Yeah, how does Trish pay to do it? She must keep her car on. Isn't it loud? I don't know. I guess we'll wash back the footage. My phone is overheating. Okay, yeah. well. My face is overheating. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this car bang. If you want to see more, make sure you give us one a big thumbs up and subscribe to the mukbang. There's food on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you have a big thumbs up. Ooh, that was like melted cheese stuck to the side of my jar. Ew. Um, Anyways. If you like these car mukbangs, let us know in the comments below and by liking this video so we'll do more of them. Maybe we should have been uh, doing this when it was cloudy outside so we don't get like heat stroke. Yeah, on, on the cloudy days is what we'll do. Yeah, and um, let us know in the comments below what other topics you want us to talk about mm -hmm. because now we just pick your topic ideas whenever we find a good one. Yep. <laughs> and uh, subscribe to be part of the Mukbang Monday fam. We don't have a name for you yet, but we're working on it. Yep, that's probably the one. <laughs> <laughs> probably what we're going to call you. And uh, we love you so much. We'll see you next time. Mukbang, Mukbang Monday, Monday out. out.